ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار indeed all the praises for allah so we praise him and we seek his help and we seek his forgiveness and we seek the protection of allah from evil on the evils of ourselves and from bad actions or bad actions whosoever Allah guides there is absolutely no mudilla lahu no one to lead him astray and when when you dil and whosoever he misguides there is absolutely no guide for him lahu wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah and i witness ashhadu an la ilaha illallah you can hear like you're hearing the adhan اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده 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 means alone la sharika lah and he has absolutely no partners wa ashhad an i witness that indeed and means that indeed like indeed all the praise that indeed muhammad is allah's abd is his abd and his rasul his abd is his slave and his rasul is his messenger rasul means messenger abd means slaves يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون we explained this the last time يا ايها الذين امنوا it means o oh, those الذين من those or oh, those of you who have believed اتقوا الله have taqwa for allah be ever conscious that he is watching over you and he is taking account of what you are doing because he says ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا indeed allah inna allah inna alhamda indeed the praise here it's inna allah indeed allah kana was is a past tense it means was ever from the very inception alaykum ala means over kum means you all a raqib raqib means one who is monitoring one who monitors you because that is what taqwa is really all about and this is why we should have taqwa for allah because you are being monitored 24/7 whether you going to be doing what allah wants or not you are going to be a good slave or not see muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is allah's slave there is nothing in his life nothing in his entire in the entire sira of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that shows that he was disobedient to allah he was always in submission to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in whatever area the point is that he is the example that we have to take to make our lives like his life we want to be a slave of allah in every area he actually says in a hadith he says aakulu kama ya'kulu al-abd wa ajlisu kama yajlisu al-abd fa inni ana 'abd i eat like the slave eats and i sit like the slave the slave sits because i am no more than a slave So this is what we want to be. We want to be enslaved to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala because we have him monitoring us every moment of our life. So nothing is going to miss him and even beyond that on the day of judgment Allah says al-yawma nakhtimu ala afwahihim. On this day we are going to seal off your lips wa tukallimuna aydihim and your hands are going to speak and your wa tashhadu arjuluhum and your and your feet are going to be a witness this is very very important inshallah for us to pay attention to and this is an attitude that we should always want to have we are allah's slave and we should want to be his slave because that is the best thing to be 
slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So inshallah, I mean, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, be conscious of him. We're going to continue with that later, inshallah. At this time, we're just going to go into the next um, slide. Brothers and sisters, we welcome you to today's lesson. And we welcome you from the bottom of our heart. We hope that you are as pleased to be in this as we are as pleased to have you with us. In this class, we will discuss the following. The six different patterns of the three-lettered verbs. Now, this is a little difficult, but I want to discuss it early. Because if we master this, inshallah, if we master these six patterns, inshallah, then studying verbs is going to be easier. Then we're going to deal with some prepositions and some interrogative particles. These two are not so difficult because we have dealt with a, we already dealt with a lot of prepositions. Interrogative particles, we're going to deal with that too because it would help you in your communication if you want to communicate in Arabic, inshallah. The last time we did this, and some people said I went too fast, so I'm just going to go back again, inshallah. Uh, what we are trying to do is identify the different words, be they ism, fail, or harf, from al ikhlas to al-nas. Right? We want to ident identify what are these words really, uh, you know, which of the words are fail, which are ism, which are harf. So we start, inshallah, we start with qul. We know the word qul means say from what we discussed yesterday, is a command form, qala yakulu kul. Okay? So this is, is a fi'al. Huwa Allahu, are both, asma, and ahad is from the ism. Right? All three of these are ism. We know ahadun is ism because of the tanween on it. Tanween dhamma. Huwa is a pronoun. And all pronouns are asma. Allahu samad, Allah is an ism. As samad is an ism because of, of the al alif and lam in front. Okay, lam is a harf. We are talking about these two. Wa lam. This is lam here again. Okay, so this is a harf. Obviously, wow with fatha means and. It's a harf. Yalid and yulad are both verbs. They come from the same verb walada, which means to be born. Walada means to be born. So lam yalid. Lam means not. And indicates and although this is present tense, the alid and yulad are both present tense words. All right, it indicates lam indicate when it enters upon the present tense, it indicates past. Lam yalid means he was not born from anyone. Walam walam yulad yulad awladu. This is on the scale awladu. Not it does not come exactly. This has an additional alif here. Awladu yuladu means to be born to be born from and he was not born he was not born walam uh, yulad and nothing was born from him awlada means to give birth awlada yuladu nothing was born from him so this verb here lam yalid this concept here negates that allah has any father or mother or any brother or sister any aunt or uncle or grandfather or anything like that because if you don't have a father or mother you don't have any of those walam yulad nothing was born from him Means that he doesn't have any children, no grandchildren, no offsprings. Walam, right? To harf and yakun kana yakunu kun. As we said, kun means be, right? As a command form for kana yakunu means kana uh, yakunu kun be. Lam yakun lahu for him kufu wan ahad. There is none like him. There is nothing like him. There is no one like him. There is no nothing, absolutely nothing like him. Inshallah. All of these words, kufu wan, this is an ism because it has tanmeen. This is an ism here because it has tanmeen. Ahadun. The name here, don't worry that. The name is for tajweed purposes. Right? Lam yakun lahu. Same thing with this wow here. These are all tajweed for tajweed purposes. The who is an ism. It's a damir. Inshallah. Qul. Or. Fi'al. A'udhu. Fi'al. B is harful jar, it means with. Rub is an ism, it means Lord. All right? Allah is the Rub. Allah is the Lord. How do we know this is ism? Because it has a kashra. Al falaq has two indications of ism, alif and lam, and a kashra. Min is harf. Sharri, it's ism because it has a kashra. And because min comes in front of it, min does not come, the harful jar does not go on anything except the ism. 
It does not come in front of the third of the harf. Ma is harf. Khalaqa is fi'al. Wa min, each one is a harf. The sharr, again, we did it already over here. It's an ism because you have a kashra, and a min comes in front of it. Ghasikin, ghasikin is a kashra, has kashra. Tanmin, so those are both indications of ism. Ida, ida is a, is a harf. Waqab, waqab. Like we see khalaqa here, we see three, um, the fatha on each letter. Inshallah. So this here is an indication that is a is a is a, is a verb. Waqaba khalaqa wa min sharri. All of this we know. This is harp. This is harp. This is ism. Okay. An nafathati alif and lam ta kashra. All of that is an indication of it being an ism, right? Fi is harf. Al uqud al uqadi al uqadi alif and lam ism with the kashra. Wamin Sharri, we know all of that, inshallah. Sharri is an ism. Wamin is, both of them are huruf, they are harfan. Hasidin is an ism because it has kashra on it. Ida is a, is a harf. And hasada, look again, hasada. Khalaqa, waqaba, right? They're all on the scale fa'ala, and that's the fa'al ma'adi. So all of these are fa'al, all of these are af'al, right? Qul, as we said, is verb, is fa'al, and so is a'udhu, fa'al. B is harf, we have that here already, bi rabbi, right? Ism, and nas is ism, because it has alif and lam, it has kashra. Malik has kashra, malik and nas has kashra, so both of them are asma, inshallah, right? Ilah in Nas, Ilah has a kashra on it, so it has to be an ism, inshallah. Nas <coughs> is kashra, has a kashra on alif and lam, so it has to be ism. Min is harf, sharri is ism, al waswas, al waswas, alif and lam in front of it, seen with the kashra, so it is ism, same thing with al khannas, alif and lam, and seen with the kashra. Alright? Um, al ladi is ism, you was visu, this is fil mudari. We didn't study that yet, but that's a fail. Fi is in suduri kasra. That that is ism and nasi ism min harf al jinnati ism because they have alif and kasra one nasi. Wa is harf and nas is ism. The six scales of three lettered verbs. The three lettered verbs. These are the vast majority of verbs in the Arabic language. They have six different scales or patterns. For now, we should focus on understanding them. In the past and present tenses, the only changes that occur to the original letters occur on the Ainul Kalima. I'm going to read that again. In the past and present tenses, that is, of these three-lettered verbs, the only changes that occur to the original letters occur on the Ainul Kalima. This means that there is no change on the Fawl Kalima or the Lamul Kalima. We have Al Madi, Al Mudari, Al Amr. Al Madi is past tense, Al Mudari'u is present tense, and Al Amr is the command form. Then we're going to have an example. As we said, there are six scales, right? You can see six different rectangles here on this table, each representing one of the six scales. The four set of three-lettered words that we're going to deal with fall on the scale fa'ala. All of them, they begin with fa'ala. If you notice, the Ainul Kalima has a fatha. Okay, we are talking about the change. The changes only occur on the Ainul Kalima. So you have fa'ala. Fa'ala, fa'ala. There are three that are on the scale fa'ala, that their mudaria, the mudaria is a present tense, is going to be affected differently. So we have fa'ala, yaf'ulu. That is one scale. Now, to change the present tense from the past tense, what do you do? You first of all, add a ya with a fatha on the fa'ala. Fa'ala is the root word, remember? So you add a ya with a fatha on the on the fa'ala. 
and you drop the fatha on the on the fa'al kalima. Look over here. The fa'al kalima here has a fatha. You drop that, you drop that, and you replace it with a sukun. And on the last letter, the lamul kalima, you change the fatha into a dhamma. So you have fa'ala yaf'ulu. Notice the change here. The change on the ainul kalima here is from a fatha to a dhamma. Okay? The other scale that we have is fa'ala yaf'ilu. We are, notice we are dealing, dealing with the mudari, the mu'adi and the mudari alone. So we have here fa'ala yaf'ilu. Remember, if you look at the first one, it was fa'ala yaf'ulu. Here is fa'ala yaf'ilu. Okay? So here we have the annual kalima changing from a fatha into a kasra. The rest of what happened up here is similar to what happens here. We add a ya with a fatha. The fa drops its fatha, drops its fatha and takes a sukun and the lamb takes a dhamma. Right? So the only change really that occurs is on the Ainul Kalima as we st as we stated, right? Fa'ala yaf'ulu and fa'ala yaf'ilu. For the third example, we have fa'ala yaf'alu. Fa'ala yaf'alu. Okay? Again, the only change that occurs is on the Ainul Kalima. Here it is fa'ala yaf'ulu, fa'ala yaf'ilu. Here it is fa'ala yaf'alu. The annual kalima takes the fatha that was there, it didn't change that, right? The ya and the, the ya with the fatha is added at the beginning. The fa, al kalima drops it, its fatha from here. It takes a sukun. And the lam al kalima, the last letter, takes a dhamma. So we have, let us read these three fa'ala yaf'ulu, fa'ala yaf'ilu, and fa'ala yaf'alu. We come to the uh, the second category, fa'ila, instead of ayn with the fatha, like in this in this case, this scale here, this scale here takes a kasra. First pattern that we have here is fa'ila, fa'ila yaf'alu, fa'ila yaf'alu. The, the mudari, the present tense, does the same thing like the first three examples. It takes a ya with a fatha, the fa drops its fatha, and it takes a sukun. And the lamb takes a dhamma, the, the lamb al kalima, the last letter. Here we have fa'ila yaf'alu. The ainul kalima takes a fatha in this particular example. In the second example, we have fa'ila yaf'ilu. Exactly the same thing happens with, the, with all the first four examples. Ya is added at the beginning, the fa drops its fatha, and it takes a sukun, and the lamb takes a dhamma. Okay? For the present tense. Here, the annual kalima takes the same haraka as fa'ila, yaf'ilu. Okay? So that's the, that's five scales. Now there's one scale left, inshallah, and that is with fa'ula. As we had the first, in this first set here of three, we had fa'ala. Second set, we had two fa'ila. The third category is fa'ula. And there was only one pattern for this. It is yaf'ulu. Yaf'ulu. The ya is added with the fatha. The fa drops its fatha and it takes a sukun. The ayn, ayn al kalima, takes a dhamma like in the fa'al madi. In the past tense, in the fa'al al madi, it takes a dhamma. Okay? To get from the past tense to the present tense, okay, you get a ya added plus the fa drops its fatha, takes a sukun. The lamb takes a dhamma, the lam al-kalima. All the rest, the ayn al-kalima has a change. In the first category, fa'ala yaf'ulu, fa'ala yaf'ilu, fa'ala yaf'alu. In the second category, fa'ila yaf'alu, fa'ila yaf'ilu. And then in the third category, fa'ula yaf'ulu. Now for the amr, for the amr, what happens? The ya is dropped. So when the ya is dropped, the fa is left with a sukun in all of these cases, right? The fa is left with sukun. Now, this is an impossibility in the Arabic language. A word cannot begin with a sukun on its first letter. So, what has to happen is a letter has to be added. What is going to be added here is, a, is an alif with a kasra or a dhamma. 
if you notice there are two only two forms with with dhamma on the ainul kalima right dhamma here and here right for these two the fil amr is falls on the scale of ul this example here the ain keeps it dumb it's dhamma and the lam the last letter takes a sukun okay so the pattern that's going to happen here is that the fa the ya is dropped off and alif is added because the fa has a sukun and the lam lam al kalima takes a sukun okay the ain al kalima maintains the ain what the what the ain al kalima carried on the fail in the in the fail of mubara in the present tense right okay so now uh, the second category that we have the second category that we have is fa'ala yaf'ilu if'il fa'ila yaf'ilu if'il it takes the fi'il amr takes the pattern from for the ain from the fi'il al mudhari the 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 present tense okay so as we said the ya is dropped the fa remains with a sukun that is an impossibility in the arabic language to have an a word starts with sukun so we have to add an alif in this case however in the first case you see a dhamma was added here kasra is added right kasra is added i'll explain that in a few moments inshallah the final scale inshallah on this and this is also it has two categories for this if al and if al right that is because the fa'il mudari or fa'ala yaf'alu has a it has a fatha on the ayn al-kalima and fa'ila yaf'alu has an fatha on the kalima we said that the fa'il al-amr the fa'il al-amr takes what the ayn al-kalima had for the fa'il mudari that is read back from the beginning fa'ala yaf'ulu uf'ul second one is fa'ala yaf'ilu if'il fa'ala yaf'alu if'al fa'ila yaf'alu if'al fa'ila yaf'ilu if'il fa'ula yaf'ulu uf'ul the alif on the fi'il amr on the command form does not take ifat it only it only takes kasra or dhamma now let us discuss the dhamma first if you want to know how to determine what is on the on the on the on the alif in this in the fi'il amr you look at the ayn al kalima what is the haraka on the ayn al kalima it's a dhamma so if the ayn al kalima the haraka on the ayn al kalima is dhamma then the alif takes a dhamma right as you see here also this is also the same case in this particular example now so that is why it the alif takes a dhamma the alif takes a dhamma the alif takes a dhamma because the ayn al kalima has a dhamma now if the ayn al kalima has a kasra or a fatha right then the alif takes kasra like if il if al if al if in okay let us get some examples of each one of these inshallah so the first pattern is fa'ala yaf'ulu uf'ul we have a verb here nasara as you see it has the same skill the same harakat as fa'ala everything has fat on it at the top right the, the noon the sword and the al-fatha now the sword is the ainul kalima so that's why we kept it in red inshallah so that we can highlight what we are saying Nasara means he helped, right? Nasara means he helped. Okay. The fair mudari is yansuru, yansuru. Look, the noon takes the place of the fa, so it is yan. The ain takes the place, the the sod takes the place of the ain, so it's su, yansu, and the lamb is the the raw takes the place of the lamb, so it's yansuru. Faala, yansuru ala wazni yafrulu. Okay, and it means he helps. It means he helps. Then we have the final category. Un suf. We drop the ya here on the uh, the ya with the fatha. We drop it. So the noon has a sukun, and that is an impossibility in the Arabic language. So we add an alif in front, and we have to decide what what haraka has to go on the alif. The haraka that has to go on the alif. Is a dhamma because the ainul kalima, the sword here, which is the ainul kalima, has a dhamma. So it's unsur, and the 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 ra, the last letter, the lamul kalima, the last letter takes a sukun.
second category is fa'ala yaf'ilu if'il fa'ala yaf'ilu so again we have a word a verb that is on the scale fa'ala daraba but it is not going to be yadrub okay daraba means he hit it's past tense right yad what is going to be the the ainul kalima the ra here which is the, on the daraba is going to take a kasra, okay? Yad ribu. Yad ribu means he hits. He hits, and the fail amr is going to be idrib. So you take off from the ya, from the yad rib here, you take off the ya, okay? You add an alif, and what are you going to add on the alif? What haraka? A kasra, alright? You look at here and it has a kashra on it. So we said if the Ain al Kalim has a kashra or a fatha, the alif takes a kashra. Okay? So it becomes id rib and the ba takes a sukun. Okay? And this means hit. The third example. Fa'ala yaf alu. How do we get the mudari? We add a ya with a fatha on it. The fatha is dropped from the fa and the lam takes Idumma. Right? How do we get the Amr? We drop the Ya with the Fatha and we replace it with an Alif. And then we look at the Ainul Kalima, we see here it's Fatha. And we said if it's Fatha or Kashra, then the Alif takes the Kashra. Okay? So let us get into the example, inshallah. Fataha. Ta is the Ainul Kalima here, right? So we want to change this to the Mudari'ah. But let us first get the meaning. Fataha means he opened. Right? We want to change it to the mudari'ah. It is yaf tahu. Remember, the scale is yaf alu, fa'ala yaf alu. Here it is fataha yaf tahu. Okay? So the, that means he opens. Yaf tahu means he opens. The fell mudari'ah, the fell amr, the command form is going to be if tah. The ya is dropped, alif replaces it, and it takes a kashra because there's a fatha on the ainul kalima. Right? So it becomes iftah, which means just open. Alright? Inshallah. Let us get the other example. Fa'ala yaf'alu if'alu. The example here is sami'ah. Sami'ah means he heard. Sami'allahu liman hamida. Sami'allahu. Allah, Allah has heard. Right? The one who praises him. How do we get the present tense? We add a ya with a fatha and we drop the fatha on the scene and replace it with with a sukun and then we have the meme takes a fatha because on the scale yaf'alu yasma'u okay the lam al kalima uh, has a sukun he has a dhamma he hears right then we have isma isma and we understand how that comes about you drop the ya with the, with the fatha here and replace it with an alif with a kasha because the meme here has a fatha. So if, it, if the, if the Ainul Kalima has a fatha or a kasra, then the Alif takes a kasra. So we have ma and the Ain, the, the, the Lam Lamul Kalima, the, the Ain takes a sukun. Fa'ila yaf'ilu if'il. Let us get the example. It's hasiba. Hasiba means he could. Right? Hasiba, how do we change that to the present tense? We add a ya. To hasiba, it becomes yah because we drop off the fatha, the fatha from the ha, we drop off the fatha from the ha and, and replace it with the sukun. Yah si because it's on the scale, the scale of yah. And the lam, lam al kalima takes a dhamma, so the ba takes dhamma, so it becomes bu. Yah si bu, then we ha, that means he considers and the fell amr is ihsib. 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 Right? Ihsib means consider. Right? I mean how we get that. Like that, the final the final category is fa'ula yaf'ulu uf'ul. We get the example here. Karuma means he was noble. He's Kareem, he was noble. Okay? Karuma is the verb. Yakrumu. We change we add ya with a fatha and we change the kaf. We change its fatha to a sukun. So it becomes yak. Then the ra 
which is the Ainul Kalima, takes a Dhamma, because the Ainul Kalima in this case takes a Dhamma, so it becomes Yakrumu, and then uh, that means he is noble. And then we have the Fel Amr, the Fel Amr is Ukrum, Ukrum, which means be noble. Okay, so practice with Fa'ala, this is Madi, the past tense, Mudari is the present tense, Amr is the command form, and we have the example. Fa'ala, Yaf'ulu, we have that. Fa'ala yaf'ulu uf'ul. You have that already, right? Fa'ala yaf'ulu uf'ul. We did that before. We have kataba. Kataba means he wrote. Kataba means he wrote. Right? What is going to be the present tense? Yak. The ya is going to go there with the fatah. Yak. And the ayn, al kalima, which is a ta here, is going to take a dhamma. Yak. Tu. And the Ba is going to take a dhamma, yaktubu, yaktubu, which means he writes. Uktub, uktub, uktub means write. So here it is uf'ul, uktub. You drop the ya with the fatah, you place in its stead, alif with a dhamma, and you take off this, the, 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 the dhamma here and you place a suku. Right? Kataba yaktubu, uktub. Nasara yansuru, unsur. When you're memorizing the verb, remember, memorize it with its present tense, its past tense, and its amr, its command form, inshallah. We're going to try to give you that also, inshallah. Fa'ala yaf'ilu. Fa'ala yaf'ilu. And the present, the, the amr is if'il. Fa'ala yaf'ilu. If'il. The word we're going to take here now is jalasa. The first word we had is daraba, yadribu, idrib. Jalasa yaf'ilu. It's become, going to come yaj. The ayn kalima is going to take a kasha. So it's going to change here. Yaj lisu. Right? Yaj lisu. Jalasa means he sat, right? Jal, yaj lisu means he sits. Jalasa yaj lisu. So what's the armor going to be? You drop the ya. You put it in its place. An alif with a kasra. It's only alif with kasra or dhamma. Yaj lisu ijlis. Ijlis. Look at the third example here, inshallah. Ijlis means sit. I say sit, ya walad. Ijlis, ya walad. You know, so you want to talk to your son in Arabic, you say Ijlis, ya walad. Uktub, ya walad. You understand? So you can start communicating. These are words that you can use. Uktub al wajibat. Wajibat means homework. Uktub al wajibat. Okay. Fa'ala yaf'alu. Fa'ala yaf'alu. We had fa'ala yaf'ulu, fa'ala yaf'ilu. Fa'ala yaf'alu if'al. If'al. Okay. Zahaba means he went. Yadhabu means he is going. Right? Or he goes. Okay? Yadhabu. This is simple. You just uh, put the ya in front. The dhal drop the tur. The first letter drops. It's fatha. And it takes a sukun. The ha here, which is the angle kalima, maintains its fatha. And here, as I said, here it would take, the alif would take a kashra because we said if the ainul kalima has a fatha or a kashra, the alif that is added here when the ya is dropped takes a kashra. Okay? So it becomes idhab. It means go. Idhab means go. Okay? Because this is not easy. It's concepts coming one after the other. It's a lot of concepts coming together at the same time. It would take time to get together. But... It is going to be nice in the end, inshallah. It is going to be, when you see this, every time you see a word in the Arabic language and you see it's a verb, mashallah, you're going to really enjoy it. Because you can say, oh, this is the present tense. Because you're going to know that the, 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 ha, the ya has to drop and it comes on the scale, fa'ala yaf'ulu. So we have here, the fa'ila yaf'alu if'al, right? Fa'ala yaf'ila yaf'ilu yaf'alu if'al. Comes from uh, the, the word we're going to use it as an example for that is shariba. Shariba means to drink or he drank, right? Shariba, Muhammadun al ma'a. Muhammad drank the water, okay? Yash, rabu, because the Ainul kalima, take a fatah, right? It, it, it takes a kashra here, but when it goes into the mudari, it takes a fatah. Yash, rabu, it's going to be he drinks, is the meaning, right? We drop off the ya here. To go into the fail amr, right? And it's going to be ish rub. 
right? Ishrab means drink. Ishrab, ya walad, drink. My son, you know he's not drinking, so you tell him, Ishrab. You understand? If you're talking to your dog, you say, Ishrabi. Or your wife, Ishrabi, ya zawjati, or Ishrabi, ya binti. Okay? Fa'ila, we had fa'ila yaf'alu. There's only one other form in this. It takes a kasha, right? Fa'ila yaf'ilu. Yaf'ilu. If'il. If'il. Hasiba. Notice we came back with the same word. Because it's not a lot. There's not a lot of words here. Hasiba yahsibu. Yahsib. Consider. He considers. Consider. Okay? Inshallah. So, that is the second set. The third set. With practice with fa'ula. The Madi, al mubari and the Amu. The past tense, the present tense, and the command form. And we have the example here. There's only one form in this, right? Fa'ula, yaf'ulu, yaf'ulu. And because the Ainul Kalima has a Dhamma, when we go into the Amr, it the Ya is dropped, and we put the Alif instead, and it has, it takes a Dhamma, because the Ainul Kalima here has a Dhamma. So, this is wrong. If Ul is wrong. Suppose the of ul, of ul, right? Inshallah. So you can change it in your book if it's like that in your book. Sharufa is a word which means he was eminent. Yash rufu, yash rufu, which means he is eminent. Ushruf, ushruf means the eminent. Prepositions, huruful jar. The preposition, harful jarri. Harful jar, we did this before, this word before. Right? Huruful jar means prepositions. Huruf is a plural for, for harf. Harf is one. Huruf, like shurur, shar, shurur. Huruful jar is a single letter or a word that comes before a noun, before an ism. They help in the formation of sentences by either, it's by either one of two ways, right? Connecting two nouns, so the half al jar help in putting together and form it in forming the sentences by either connecting two nouns. A rajulu fil masjidi. A rajulu fil masjidi. A rajulu means the man. Okay. Now is in the in this kind of a sentence, which is called jumla al ismiya is understood. It's not written, it's understood. It has no is the the, the jumla to ismiya has no verb. This is not like in English. English every sentence must have a verb. In Arabic, two words can make a sentence, two nouns. Okay, here a rajulu fil masjidi. The fi comes here and join between al masjid. We know the word masjid, al masjidi, right? A rajulu fil masjidi. The man is, this is understood, fi is in the masjid, okay, the masjid. Or the second way in which they help is connecting in a verb to a noun. Remember we said the harf al jar does not enter upon a verb, so it does not come before a verb. It only comes before a noun, so there is no other option. It's either two nouns, it comes between two nouns, or it comes between a verb that comes before it, or a noun that comes and a noun that comes after it. The verb it does not come between two verbs. It comes before a before a noun and between two nouns, and it comes between a verb and a noun. It comes after the verb, right? Like zahaba, zahaba is a verb. We did that just now. He went ila al masjidi. He went to ila means to the masjid. Zahaba ila al masjidi. He went to the masjid. Okay. Now, this here needs to be clear. Get it clear in your mind. What, what we're going to do now is basically bring the huruf al jar and you repeat it with their meanings. All the huruf al jar that, um, that are there, inshallah, most of them, if not all, right? Ila means to or towards. Ila means towards. Ila al masjidi, to the masjid. Dahaba ila al masjidi. He went to the masjid or he went towards the masjid, right? Ala means upon or on. Al kitabu, the book, ala al maktabi is on the desk. Okay? Fi, in, fil masjidi. In the masjid. The man is in the masjid. Huwa fil, you can say huwa fil masjidi. 
he is in the masjid fi right min means from min sharril min sharri right min sharril waswasi from min means from from the evil of the waswas of the whisperings right means min, min means from b means with or in right we use this very often like we have bismillah bismillah every day we read it in the quran the ba there with the kasra bismillah b means with or in with the ism with the ism is means name with the ism of allah with the name of allah or in the name of allah i begin okay an means about those who with regards to their salat are heedless who are about their salat heedless they are heedless about their salat an okay all of these words we would know inshallah we are, i mean they are very uh very very popular in the quran but you know them you read them when you look at the quran now make sure that you're paying attention right uh the badir in front of Allah. Be with. Be there is the half of the For li or la means for or belonging to. Alhamdu lillah. Alhamdu lillahi. So you, you know it from there, inshallah. Alhamdu, all the praise, lillahi is for Allah or belongs to Allah alone. Hatta means to or until. Hatta matula'il fajr. Right? We, we know that in Surah Al-Qadr. Hatta, right? Salamun here, there is peace. Hatta matula'il fajr. Hatta matula'il fajr. Until the, the matla means the, the rise of fajr. The, sun, the fajr comes in. Okay, Munzo means since. Munzo means since. This is not very popular, and Muz, they are not very, very popular. Muz, Munzo, they are not very, very popular. It is not used a lot, but they are hard to get. Then we have Ka, means like. Anyone can, any, anybody can bring me an example of this in the meantime. There's an example in Surafil. Yet it is Ka Asfim Ma'kul. Right? Ka. The cad here is half al jar. You see, the asfim has kasha, right? After the after the half al jar, the as the word that comes after half al jar always take kasha. Rubba, rubba means many. You know in the hadith, rubba swaimin. Many a fasting person would have nothing from his fasting il al jur, except hunger. Ta is for oath. Right? Ta is for oath, which means ta, like tallahi, tallahi. And it's not used a lot. It's very, very, um, very, very scarce. Actually, wa, wa is used more. Right? Wa can mean and. And is a conjunction that joins two uh, concepts. And it's also, it also can be used for oath. And it's generally used at the beginning of sentences. Like in Surah Shams, Allah swears a lot. Wa shamsi wa duha wa qamari notice all the letters have on the on the nouns that follow the one has kasha what was means by by the shams and by the comma then we have three letters three words here three huruf al jar here that are hardly used rarely used right these are rarely used so you don't see them a lot but i just brought them so we know them we have them with us all the time ada means except or besides and they have the same meaning Hasha means besides or except, and khala, khala means beside or except, right? What is important from these four of jar to memorize are these four, these three, or this four, that's fine. This calf here, this wow here. Some examples of each of the preposition discussed in the previous page are, let us see, ta plus Allahi equals tallahi, tallahi. Right? It's a swear in the Quran. Allah says, Tallahi, by Allah. Okay? Bismillahi. Right? Bismillah means 
in the name, with the name or in the name of Allah. Alhamdulillah. The lamb here, the, the, the lillahi, the lillah here is two words. Lam kashali and Allah. Alhamdulillah. All praise is for? Okay, we have alhamdu here is praise. All the praise, right? The praise. Actually, it should be the praise. All the praise is for? Belongs to Allah. Ilal masjidi, we already did that just now. Ilal masjidi means to. Ila means to. To the masjid or towards the masjid. All these words, they are very, very popular in the Quran. Al-kitabu al maktabi. Al-kitabu means the book. The book is al maktabi. The book ala. Al-kitabu ala is upon or on. Al-maktabi. Maktabi is on the desk. Okay. The book is on the desk. All right. Fil bayti. Fi means in. Bayt al baytu means the house. In the house. Okay, fil bayti. Okay, wan najmi. Wan wow. Here is qasm, right? Najm is star. We know in surah wan um, najmi. This is for swearing. Allah used the, the word wow here is for swearing. Wan najmi ida hawa in surah najm. Wan najmi. Okay, we see it. We know it is um, harful jar because the najm after it. After it takes a kashra by the star. Min tabibi. Tabib means the doctor. Right? So min means from. Min sharril waswasil khamas. From the evil. Min tabibi means from the tabibi. Rajatu min tabibi. I came, I returned from the tabib, from the doctor. Right? Zaidun kal asadi. Zaid is the name of a person. Ka, as we said, means like or as, right? Al-Asad, Al-Asad means like a lion, the lion, right? So Zaidun kal asadi we know this is harful jar because the ism that comes after it takes a kashra and it happens throughout. The Tallahi, Bismillahi, Alhamdulillahi, Al-Masjidi, Al-Maktabi, Al-Bayti, Wa Najmi, Min tabibi Kal Asadi, right? So Zaid is like a lion, okay? Anil Maridi, Anil Maridi, Sa'altu Anil Maridi. An means about, as I said, right? Anil Maridi, Marid, Al Marid is the sick person. Sa'altu Anil Maridi means I, I asked concerning or I asked about the patient. Okay? The sick person. Hatta Subhi. Hatta Subhi. Subh means the morning, right? As Subhu is the morning. Hatta Subhi. Hatta means until, right? Until subh, until the morning, right? To or until the morning, until the dawn. Rubba alimin. Rubba alimin. Rubba alimin alimin is a person who has, is a learned person, right? It's normally alimun, as subhu, al maridu, al asadu, al tabibu, all of them has dumb as you see, right? Alhamda, here, uh, it's supposed to be alhamdu, right? Rubba alimin, because of this, the, the tanween, the, uh, the alim takes a tanween kashra here because it doesn't have alif and lam. We're going to read the rest of them now, inshallah. The rest of them. Munzu usbu'in. Munzu means since, right? Usbu' means a week, since a week. And muz is the same thing, since a week. Muz has the same meaning. Ja'an nasu ada zaydin, right? Ja'an nasu hasha zaydin. Ja'an nasu Khala Zaydin, right? Ja'a nasu ada Zaydin, Ja'a nasu hasha Zaydin, Ja'a nasu khala Zaydin, okay? Now Ja'a means he came, and nasu means the people, right? So when, when it comes together here, Ja'a and nasu means the people came, all the people came, right? Ja'a nasu, the same thing here, Ja'a nasu, all the people came, ada as we said, means besides or except. Hasha, hasha means beside or except. Khala means beside or except. So all of these translate the same way, right? All the people came besides or except Zaid. All the people came beside or except Zaid. All the people came beside or except Zaid. There's nothing else I can do about this there's except um, the way I explained it there. And all you have to do now is go and memorize the, uh, 
the the, 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 the whole of Jar, inshallah. Right? That's your homework, inshallah. Let us do do examples of preposition Quran from Al Fatiha, Al Ayatul Kursi, and Al Nas. We will do this, do this, inshallah, in Tuesday night's class, inshallah. We'll uh, bring these examples, and then there are some examples. We will close here, inshallah. We hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us for our efforts. You for your efforts, me for my efforts, you all of you for your efforts. We hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to learn this language. And we hope that through this process we are understanding the language and we hope that Allah will give us more understanding so that inshallah we can, Ramadan comes and we are reading the book with more understanding than we ever read it. May Allah bless us all and guide us all, bless, us, bless our families who are Muslims, forgive us, our parents who are Muslims, our children, make our progeny righteous people who worship Allah, make them establishers of Salat, and Allah forgive all the believers their sins and, and all those who went before us with Iman, may Allah forgive us and forgive them, have mercy on us and have mercy on them, and give us the best in this world hereafter, and save us from the punishment of hell. SubhanAllah wa bihamdik, shalwan la ilaha ila anta, astaghfiruka wa tubi alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.